Welcome to Adam Thinkers. You know, question analysis is the best way to answer question. Like I said, 50% of your question, if you're able to analyze it, you answer 50% of it. There's no ambiguous questions in the end class or in the Q brand. I've heard people talk about it. Let's look at this one and see if we can. Is English review concept things you have to know already? So this is the question. It's an endocrine question. Um, try to make it tricky, but for you to pay attention to the buzzwords. Absence, keyword, of which of the following indicates what? Therapeutic effect of the medication. Absence of that indicate therapeutic effect of the medication. And it's a select that apply. What is the problem? And this is caring for a client with what? Adrenal insufficiency. Client, client has been taking the prescribed cortisol for three months. Absence of which of the following indicates therapeutic effect of the medication. I always say, don't, when you read a question, don't look at the answers. Break it down, right? What is the case? And what are you being asked? What is being asked is therapeutic effect of the medication. Therapeutic effect. But what therapeutic effect? Absence. Absence of what indicates. So you got to connect it. There, there should be no symptoms related to that problem that will tell you that there's a therapeutic, therapeutic effect. It's a little bit uh, confusing, but that is the way they can say it. Absence, you just read it, read it the way it is, don't overthink it. Absence of which of the following, if I don't see that, it means there's a therapeutic effect. You see, I'm spending time to break it down so that I don't get confused. What is the case? You have adrenal insufficiency, right? And you'll be taking what? cortisol for three months. So that's the key. Cortisol for three months and I have adrenal insufficiency. So my buzzwords like I have underlined is this adrenal insufficiency. I'm taking cortisol for three months and I'm looking for absence of what? The following, which of this will indicate therapeutic effect. You have to rewrite it. That means I have adrenal insufficiency, I take steroids, and for three months, if I don't see these things, that means the medication is working. That is the rewrite I've done. And you have to bring your content. Adrenal insufficiency is the same as what? Addison. I did not want to use it so that I can give the question, make the question easy. Adrenal insufficiency is the same as Addison. That means I lack what? Corticosteroids, I lack a drawstrum. What are the key features of Addison disease? If you like cortisol, right? Weight loss. If you like cortisol, right? potassium is low or adostrum your sodium is high right they are features not consistent with cortisol so those are the things you pay you pay attention to the things that is consistent with uh, addison so if their sodium is high their blood pressure is elevated and you can go on and talk about all the signs and symptoms um, that they need to have. Now you look at the question. So you're looking for things that are related to Addison. And if I give them the steroid, it will vanish. So you should not see all the signs and symptoms related to Addison because you're treating them with what? Cortisol. That is what the question is asking you. Question breakdown slowly therefore vitiligo when you have addison 
your ACTH is high. This can lead to bronze pigmentation. They can also develop vitiligo, white patches on their body in addition to bronze pigmentation. Therefore, if I give you cortisol, your ACTH will decrease and will prevent all this pathway from happening. Therefore, absence of what? Vitiligo indicate my cholesterol is working. You see what I did? When you have adenosine, what? You are not doing cleaning. When you have adenosine, what is one key features? They don't have cortisol, so they don't have weight gain, which is the side effect of steroid. So absence of what? What do they have? Weight lost. If you give them cortisol, the weight loss will go away. They don't have weight gain, so this should not be a problem. If you don't see this in Addison, this is not seen in Addison, and therefore there is not going to be an absence of that. That is the key. I don't see weight gain. All I see is weight loss. So when I give you cortisol, weight loss will be absent. You rather gain weight. So, but the question asks you, absence of what will indicate therapeutic effect? You see, I keep on going back to the main idea of the question. When you have adenosine, your blood pressure is low. So absence of hypotension will indicate therapeutic effect of what? Cortisol, not hypertension. So this one is not there. When you have adenosine, your sodium is low. Your blood pressure is low. They don't have leg edema. It's when they have cortisol, right? Or adrenaline. That is when they are cushionoid. They will have what? Sodium retention. Then water will follow. They can develop hypertension, fluid overload, and they can have edema. Therefore, I don't see any absence of leg edema because Addison patient does not have leg edema. You see now the, you, you can answer the question. So this is not included. It's a little bit, it sounds ambiguity. Yeah, yes, some ambiguity to it. But there is none. It's just you have to interpret the question. When you have adenosine, because they have what? Low cortisol level and low adrenaline, what will happen? Adenosine. We have low cortisol and low adrenaline, or they don't have it at all, their sodium is low. They get dehydrated, they become lethargic, because the blood pressure is low. Therefore, when you give them cortisol, you solve this problem. Their, their, their sodium go up, they retain water, and that, will solve the problem of lethargy. So absence of lethargy, that means your cortisol is working. One of the classic symptoms of adenosine is nausea and vomit. And this will trigger what? Anorexia, they don't want to eat. If they eat, they become nauseated. Why? Because they dehydrated. So if you give them cortisol, the anorexia resolve. So absence of anorexia indicate therapeutic effect of the medication. 
question analysis is your key. You break the question down and you see that this is all you need. Only three things we're looking at, absence, cortisol, therapeutic effect. And we know the problem, adrenal insufficiency. So vitiligo will be resolved, lethargy will be resolved, anorexia will be resolved. They have no weight gain because they have weight loss from the beginning. The hypertension is not going to resolve because they have hypotension. The leg edema, they have no leg edema. They may rather develop leg edema. So the key word in the question is absence and therapeutic. That's why I said pay attention to the questions before you try jumping into it. If you don't read this question carefully, you pick things that you think is related to cortisol. The question is not asking for you cortisol. It's asking, if I'm giving you cortisol, what should I see in adrenal sufficiency patients? So there's two things you have to put in your mind. If you want to master this kind of strategy, then check that that and close. Join our membership. We have membership with good content videos restricted only for those who have membership. So take care of yourself and all the best of luck. Bye-bye.